Welcome back to Edmonds Today. I'm Jennifer Marks. Very excited about what we have going on today. We have the Edmonds moms behind Fun Kid Lunches. Chris Casu, Elaine Helm. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having us. So today they are going to show you how to make quick, easy, fun kid lunches. And we're gonna start off with the staple of kid lunches, sandwiches. So show me what you got here. So sandwiches, basically meat and cheese or peanut butter jelly for a lot of people. We get a lot of notes on our page about that. And um, something that we find is the easiest way you can spice up a meat and cheese sandwich is just with a basic cookie cutter. Um, here we have an octopus, a rocket ship, a little ninja. You can mix and match some shapes if you want to, but that's like takes two seconds out of your morning and it's like the easiest thing you can do to kick up the basic sandwich. So this is just basically a deli slice of provolone that you cut, you cut with a cookie cutter like this. Can you show me what you did with the heart on the pancake here? All right, so another way to kind of mix up your sandwich is to change out the ingredients. So instead of a standard bread, here we've used pancakes instead of bread for, especially for a peanut butter jelly sandwich, it's like, kind of makes sense. So we have taken just a little heart, got a heart out of the pancake and made a negative space and it looks nice with the little red jelly in there. Tell me what you have right here. So here we just have some basic pop them open biscuits from the store, pre-made, really easy. We'll take these and just roll them out, um, flatten them out and stuff them with whatever we sort of have lying around. So you can take just some deli meat, some vegetables, some cheese, roll it up in there and it's good to go for lunch. Often we'll make a big batch of these on the weekend and then they're good. They're good for lunches, but they're also good for like a quick dinner. You can pop them in the freezer. They're good for, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, they don't last that long in our house. <laughs> but um, I'm just taking some flour here to make sure that my dough isn't sticking to the board. And then I'm gonna take the, uh, get some of this on my hands. And also you can take just, if you don't have a rolling pin, just a simple glass. This is just like one of those tumblers you get your, um, you know, cold beverage in for the day. And then roll this out. So it doesn't need to be too flat, but I take it, flip it over, roll it out a bit. And then I'll just take a spoonful. Um, I'll just put a little bit more on there and then I'm just gonna fold it over. And you can get fancy with your edges or you can just do this really simple, but um, you can like pinch them over to the side, make a little scallop. So is this something that you need to heat up the morning of or can you just sort of defrost it in the lunchbox? So we actually heat it up either in the microwave or in the oven um, before it goes into the lunch. And we use a bento box system that um, we line it with aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. um, and for whatever reason, that just seems to sort of keep it a little bit warm and not too soggy. Here's what they look like after we bake them. Wow. Yeah, so you can see this one's come apart a little bit. I probably filled it a little bit too much, yeah, but this one's nice and perfect. <laughs> it looks professional like you would, like a Hot Pocket that you would pull out of a, <laughs> out of a thing. Now, this is amazing. It tastes a lot better and it's a lot better for you. So for sure. we feel good knowing that, you know, our son's getting good food and it's not too difficult to make. So let's talk about another alternative to the sandwich, which I see you guys do a lot, the quesadilla. So show me how you guys would do that um, quickly um, in the morning. So quesadillas are great because all you need is a few tortillas, some cheese, maybe some meat, some veggies. So we'll just take tortilla, toss some cheese and some meat on there. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, I will say if you're gonna put stuff in the middle, make sure you get cheese on both sides so it sticks together. It sticks. Um, but we'll toss some, uh, veggies in there. I'll take my own advice and put some cheese on top of it. <laughs> uh, and then our secret trick is a baking press. Really easy, makes you cook faster, more even. You put it in the pan, just put the baking press right on top of it, two to four minutes and you're good to go. So this is another one of those cases because you know I follow Fun Kid Lunches on Facebook, right? Aww. And I see that you have a lot of little things. Sometimes if you just cut it up and it's, you know, bo boring, it's not boring, but you know, if it's boring, then you put, um, cute little things in it like this. And where do you get something like this? I know you have Star Wars ones. There's some cute animals in here. I think maybe some Pokemon. Yeah, so those are from like a Ranch 99. Daiso has a lot of stuff like this. Or you can find them online. A lot of times they're imported from Japan. Yeah. Um, but the fun little faces and shapes are just, you know, it's another way to add a little bit of fun to a lunch without doing something super, super complicated. Sometimes you use the, um, 
you call it nori, I call it seaweed, um, <laughs> to make a character out of something. My favorite thing you did was the Lorax. Um, mm -hmm. And you, so sometimes you make eyeballs out of cheese. Just cheese, we use the big fat straw for the big part of the eyeball and a hole punch in the nori for the little part of the eyeball and it takes about two seconds or we have our son make some in advance. Speaking of characters, this next thing you're gonna show us is something that you utilize characters with a lot. Yes, the egg sheet. And uh, we've done a lot of things with egg sheets. Sometimes we use them as roll-ups, sometimes we use them uh, similar to what we've done with cheese where we just cut some shapes out of it, but we use it as an alternative to bread or the pancake or the quesadilla um, where we use an egg instead of those items. So the egg sheet's all about technique. It's all, We only do one egg. I'm gonna leave that right there. Um, you just crack your egg. Ah, you don't get any shell in there. Um, so the technique to this, because you don't want it to sizzle like an omelet really, it wants to be really thin like a crepe. So um, we use the chopsticks instead of a fork to just kind of get it all mixed up and you just sure it up like this until it's pretty consistent in texture. Okay. And then we're gonna take it over to the frying pan and um, put this like a thin layer of oil like you would if you were making a crepe. And, um, and then we sizzle that up. So this is your nice thin egg sheet. And that's just been folded over one time. I just folded it over because it was easier to get it out of the pan. And then we just take some lunch meat and some cheese and we roll it up. Just like we would sometimes we'll do like uh, wraps like that. And then, you know, for funsies, I like to sometimes cut it into little sushi bites. Like that. And it's just another little roll up stick up a pin in it there. And so then you just put it in the same case where you would put his lunch or his mini bagel or the small pancake and put the top on and that's ready to go. Yeah, it's ready to go. Thank you, Chris and Thank Elaine, very you. much Thanks for coming. So much. If you wanna find out more about um, how to make these fun kid lunches, you can go to facebook.com slash fun kid lunches.